guys, let me hear. It's Friday, so we're getting fan art. And uh, I'm working on a picture of Lapis Lazuli from Steven Universe. And this was the first place winner in my last suggestion video. So this was actually the final video that I owed you guys. I did the Patreon one, I did the one that I picked, and now this is the the number one voted one on YouTube. And this suggestion was from Tasteless Truffle. And there was a whole bunch of comments below it saying, yeah, pick this one. So, so here we have it, it's Lapis. And I wasn't actually going to do any more Steven Universe fan art because my last picture received some flack and yeah, it was a very unpleasant experience. Uh, I've never really had that much bash la backlash, <laughs> bash lash. <laughs> never had that much backlash from a picture that I tried to make very positive and like I didn't have any like nefarious thoughts or trying to do anything evil or <laughs> I wasn't trying to hurt anyone's feelings. So I was just drawing pictures of three aliens but trying to make them look more like New York City people, but some people got really offended, so I wasn't actually going to do any more Steven Universe fan art. And it's really a shame because I wanted to do Lapis, which I, I ended up doing anyway for the suggestion winner, but I also wanted to do Rose Quartz, and I wanted to do Ruby and Sapphire, and I wanted to do Opal, but yeah, I'm not sure if I'm ever going to do that just because... I don't enjoy being hacked to size and people judging me because I tried to make a picture people would like and they didn't. So I'm not sure. Not sure about that. But I do like how this picture came out, just like how I liked the last picture. So I hope I don't have to disable the comment section again. But I really do like this picture. I gave Lapis a more realistic look. Like, just instead of the cartoony, I tried to give her like a more realistic face and stuff like that. And the scene that inspired me for this picture was when Lapis collected all the ocean and kind of raised it to the sky. And she tried to reach where she was from and she couldn't and she was very upset. But uh, Steven goes up there and he heals her gem that's broken and... I really liked that whole like atmosphere and like the idea of it and like how she was up there and I thought I'd put the universe like galaxy background behind her and then I thought I'd put like some water spurting upwards kind of like a fountain which also explains why her dress is kind of moving a little bit but I also did not opt for her water wings because I thought that would be way too distracting for the picture with the water coming up and then the sky dripping down and then like the skirt being everywhere. I didn't want to kind of detract from the picture by adding too much and I thought that the wings were a gamble if they would look nice or not. So I just kind of did not add the water wings in there but yeah all of this picture was done with Windsor and Newton watercolors and it was basically a whole bunch of blues that I had and black and then I used a little bit of red to add kind of like blush to her cheeks like very slightly and then I used a little bit of red to add to the blue to make purple and I put a slight bit of purple in the sky so other than that it's all just blue <laughs> blue 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 and black and kind of like a monochrome if I just hacked out the red that was in there but yeah I really like how this picture came out and I hope that you guys liked it um if you didn't that's okay too uh but try not to criticize me as a person <laughs> I'm like so traumatized to put this video up. I'm like, I'm not trying to hurt anyone's feelings. I'm not evil, I swear. So, uh, yeah, I tried, tried to make a picture you guys would like. Um, so, yeah. Next week, 
I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get my Inktober drawing up because I'm a little bit behind because I finished the Patreon for this month and I got some supplies from a company I thought you guys might be interested in. So I'm gonna do a review of that probably Friday of next week. So it's kind of what I'm working on. So I'm a little bit behind on the Inktober stuff. I have a lot of stuff sketched out, but I still have to finish a bunch of other things, so. And the thing is with my Inktober is I feel like some things are too complicated, like I'm putting too much effort into certain things. Like I could just do a smiley face. I know someone who's done a smiley face. Shout outs to you, girlfriend. <laughs> And then, like, there's other people that are like, I did a ghost. And I'm like, that is the simplest thing ever. Maybe I should do a ghost. But, like, I feel like everything I'm doing in this week has been really complicated. And it's really slowing me down. So I'm a little bit behind on stuff. And so I kind of need to catch up. But you will be getting week two when I get everything done. And then, yeah. Maybe Inktober will go into Inkvember. <laughs> then I'll just be like, it's two months. I don't know. I, I'm going to try to catch up when I get some of the other stuff that I uh, need to get done done. And then I'll try to like just focus on that for a while. But yeah, I hope that you guys like this picture. And I haven't done a watercolor in a while, it feels like, so it was, it was a nice change. It was. I was originally going to do my Splatoon picture for this week, but I'm having some problems flattening out papers because it's going to be like multiple papers glued together and it's like, turned into really complicated mess, but, <laughs> oh Splatoon. Anyway. I'll talk to you guys next week in my next video. I hope you guys have a good one, and I'll talk to you real soon.